Let's learn how to load a bundle of arguments into an intent and retrieve the arguments in the target activity. A bundle is a data structure of key value pairs passed between activities. You pass arguments between activities by loading them into a bundle. The keys must be strings, and values are limited to the simple types and serializable objects which align with Android's rules for what you are allowed to pass between activities. Bundles have put and get methods for the simple types. There are about 100 put and get methods available, which makes the bundle class convenient to use. For simple types like integer, double, boolean, string, etc., there are put and get methods for single values, arrays, and lists. Objects must be serialized to be stored in a bundle and passed between activities. Bundles support two ways to serialize complex objects, Android's parsable interface and Java's serializable interface. Implementing either of these is challenging, and the details of how to code these is beyond the scope of this course. Extras are a bundle inside an intent to be passed between activities. Inside the intent, the property name for the bundle is extras. The starting intent is available in the target's intent property. The intent you use to start an activity is passed to the target activity. It is available in the property named intent. The intent property is defined in the activity class, and its meaning is the intent that started me. The target activity can use its intent property to access the extras inside it and retrieve the arguments passed by the source activity. There are two ways to load intent extras. One way is to create a bundle, fill it with data, and then load it into the intent. Most people don't do that, though, because there's an easier way. The intent class has methods that automatically create a bundle inside the intent and load the data all in one step. Android passes the intent to the target activity, where it shows up in the intent property of the target. If you're coding a target activity, you inherit this property and can use it to retrieve the extras. Let's look at the explicit access method and the convenience methods for retrieving intent extras. There are two ways to get the arguments. You can step all the way to the bundle using the code intent extras get with the intent ID, or you can use the convenience methods in the intent class itself, which yields shorter codes such as intent get extra with the intent ID. A common place to do this is in the target activities on create method, since the extras are often needed to get the target activity ready to use. Thank you.